the sleeve, but it's the sleeve ultra. Uh, give me a few seconds here, uh, loading everything up on my YouTube channel and posting it. But, uh, yeah, you know, we had a, a good deal with the original sleeve model, uh, which was last posted, I believe it was yesterday. But, um, you know, this is the, uh, the ultra. <laughs> so, uh, I kind of put a multi-layered um, fairing set on it with a uh, inflatable heat shield on the nose of the fairing, the outermost fairing. And uh, yeah, let me see how this goes. Um, so the record is set to like 6,300 plus meters per second within 70,000 meters. And uh, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> So I'm kind of weaseling, wiggling my way through this kind of like, you know, so yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be pretty crazy, I think. So yeah, uh, KSB console community, come on. My my phone's running slow right now, which sucks. Luckily, I had YouTube and everything already prepared and pulled up. And I think that's what's making it slow is all the background apps. Come on. This thing's taking forever. Ow, cat. There's six kittens, and they're all, like, fighting for my feet. Come on. This thing's running so fucking slow. Paste. Post. Ow. Get off my cord. All right. So this is from launch, and um, you can see I've been in the air for a minute, almost to 19 or 20,000 meters, and doing about 800 meters a second, and I leveled, kind of leveling out. So let's go ahead and run it. So yeah, this is that sleeve ultra until I just took off. So yeah. No save file here, nothing like that. Clear, uncut, raw. So, yeah. So there's eight boosters with nine engines to each booster. And it comes out to like 84,000 kilonewtons of thrust total. And that's not including my center core and my second stage and third stage. Yes, I have a uh, an upper second stage and then the inner core which is inside the fairing the trick in the sleeve the sleeves the fairing the trick is the ship <laughs> so yes yeah, sir let's see yeah look at that and then the frame rate decimates so we just back out a little bit. Won't see much of that heating, aerodynamic pressure. Bada bing, bada boom. So 12.50, all right. Still got quite a ways to go for 6,300 meters per second. Um, but we are cooking now at 26,000 meters. So I, I'm really don't want to try to p surpass forty thousand because when you get past forty thousand, then you're really in, really no confinement of the atmosphere. You just really it's like being at sixty thousand meters, um, and, and it's really easy to lose control of your orbital trajectory. And we're not trying to gain an orbit and have to point the nose down and lose um, craft speed. Because no matter what, our momentum is with the trajectory of the orbit. So it, 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 we're going to be using a lot of fuel just to correct that orbital trajectory to bring it back into the atmosphere. 
after so many minutes, you're going to be out of 70,000 meters. So that's why I kind of started a steep approach within the atmosphere. So now we're coming up on 2,000 meters a second. Almost out of fuel on our boosters. <clears throat> Oh, we're starting to heat up, are we? Well, that's fine, because we're going to be dumping those here soon anyways. And I might have to go back in and put on those little jettison um, engines for the boosters. Because each time I try to do with eight boosters, something really, 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 really bad happens. So, yeah. And I am not trying to have that really, really, really bad scenario with eight boosters and trying to do this. But luckily, we're low enough on the heating. It ain't going to cause any destruction yet. And with the fuel being as low as it is, we ain't got to worry about that extra overheating on the boosters. So, we're good. Coming up on almost 3,000 meters at the end of our boosters. 2,700. Uh, 29. Go, go, go. That was awesome. And I'm I'm surprised they're still in configuration. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's see. I wonder what it is is heating. What is heating? It's not the fairings. So it's got to be a booster or something? Not really sure. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I didn't even fucking... Oh, damn it. So I gotta manually do this. That sucks. All right. Inflate. Come on. Good thing I packed the uh, second upper stage, which also has, I think, nine vector engines. <laughs> this thing probably has, like, I don't know, a total of like a hundred something vector engines total. Even the little craft has a vector engine, the trick and the sleeve. So really, I think I need to start. Yep, I'm 3,600 at 70,000. 
So, yeah, that was relatively... I'm going to have to start at a really low altitude. Oh, man. All right. Back to launch. So... And these people, they don't show videos like what they're doing to achieve this 6,300 meters per second. And I think it kind of validates the whole, the the challenge. You know, they're not showing proof except numbers and statistics that they did it. Ooh, okay, well, show how you did it. Show It's like doing math. Well, show the math. Don't just show the answer upon the equation. Show show the answer. It's, it's kind of, it, ah, uh, frustrating but I mean you can't really call it bullshit because you can't like I mean you can photoshop numbers but you know it's just people don't like showing the answers or showing the equation to getting the answer and they think oh I, I can post my statistics and get it well that's half ass really you know it's it, it just proves the fun you know Where's the fun in it? And just posting fucking numbers. You know. Um, let's see. I want my inner eight. Because I'm not trying to use fuel from my inner eight. I want that whole stage full. Click. Boom. That was awesome. Look at that plume. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It's a heavy bitch. I think it's almost like... 4,000 tons, almost 200 parts. It's a heavy bitch. Let's get this rotation. So I'm gonna have to start really low in the um, the gravity assist turn. So I'm I'm gonna be in the middle of the second atmosphere. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn at the top of this atmosphere and actually probably be horizontal in the middle of the second atmosphere and do a slow climb through the third atmosphere and probably towards three quarters of the third atmosphere I'm gonna be in the negative of my nav ball probably about 20 degrees negative on my nav ball at the three-quarter mark of um, the third atmosphere which is probably gonna be about 30 25 between 25 and 35 thousand meters I'm gonna be negative in my nav ball so it's not a bad thing I'm just trying to keep my orbital trajectory down so I can gain speed and not be tossed out of Kerbin's influence.
so now we start our gravity assist turn we're gonna go down to uh, 45 degrees so that way we can start picking up uh, surface speed while in flight alright well I guess 40 degrees will work So we're actually going pretty, we're going pretty much hit this really steep. Uh, our inclination through the atmosphere is going to be really steep. And just try to keep it as low as possible at high speeds. I mean, once you, uh, like, when you're lower than 70,000 meters, I mean, it really doesn't take much to expand your apoapsis to out of the uh, Kerbin system. So it. I mean, to to achieve orbit is like 2,500 meters at 70,000 meters. So, not 25,000, but 2,500 meters per second. At 70,000 meters, you can uh, obtain a stable orbit of 70,000 to 70,000 apoapsis to periapsis. So, if we could achieve greater than 2,500 meters per second at a lower trajectory, at a steeper trajectory, then we should be... We should be good. So I should be flattening out right now. We're going to go completely horizontal at this altitude. So that way we can maintain our our uh, flight trajectory. We're not trying to get in orbit or leave Kerbin per se, but I mean, we pretty much technically did leave Kerbin. We're still in the atmosphere, but we're just not on that surface. But, yeah. So here soon, we should be going negative. Yeah. So we'll gain gravitational speed as well as flight speed by pitching down. As long as we don't pitch too far down, we won't lose altitude. We could still slowly gain altitude, but we don't want to gain it too much to where we're going to fly past 70,000 meters. So we really want to try to keep it down a bit. So our apoapsis is 25,000 slowly coming close to us, which is all right. And I'm going to go ahead, I need to pull this up. Come on, because I didn't action group my inflatable heat shield. Come on, you mother. Come on, you can do it. Give me the menu. Gosh darn it, come on. These frames, man. Come on. Give it to me. about getting my wireless mouse come on <laughs> stop playing this trick oh man maybe I should just action group it Come on, stop playing. Yeah. 
There we go. About time. Let's zoom out. Then I can actually get some control over my cursor. What a bloody tragedy this is. I mean, 200, almost 200 parts. Like, you're three parts from 200. You're like almost 200 tons from being 4,000 tons. So, I mean, what could go wrong? Come on. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Before it's too late. Oh, come on. She's not going to pull up. Oh, gods. And she's losing speed of full throttle. Okay. Well, shucks. All right, let's try this again. Uh, this time, <laughs> I'm going to put that inflatable heat shield in the action group. Uh, I knew I was missing something. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Let's get this thing live stream, uh, not live stream, damn it. Action grouped. Yes, yes, yes. What's up, Johnny Builds? All right. This thing is becoming such a, um, yeah. Uh, inflate. And then we'll custom group two to uh, jettison uh, heat shield. And, uh, yeah, uh, I believe now we just hope for the best. So, yeah, I got multi-stage um, fairing sets. Oh, oh, yeah, uh-huh. Well, I'm going to try to beat that, Johnny. Um, 6,300 plus meters a second, that's, that's pretty... Um, pretty achieving it you know that, that's fucking awesome yeah i'm <laughs> glad you got that and it, it's a challenge but i'm staying i'm sticking with the trick in the sleeve the sleeve being the fairing and that's the trick <laughs> all right so let's save this well 
Oh shit. Save. And then. Yeah. Delete this. I, I hate loading up the autosave. So yeah, we're at almost 200 parts, almost 4,000 mass. 4,000 tons in mass. And it's a giddy up rodeo on this ship. <laughs> Oh man. I think I need to pack my uh a tobacco pipe and sit outside on the back porch and fly through the glass sliding window. Yeah, the frames per second is pretty painful. But uh I mean when I zoom out it's not so bad. <laughs> but that last try trying to get that cursor on the inflatable heat shield to inflate it yeah and so many things happened at once it was unbelievable man oh what i need to do is put those jettison things on my boosters so i don't have to wait for them to separate and i could just keep full throttle oh man shoulda coulda would've i might do it next try or i might just Throw this whole fucking sleeve thing out and you can keep the, the record in any atmosphere. <laughs> I mean, everybody who participated has done a really great job in in their efforts. You know. Uh, let's see. I need to take that. Yeah. And move it on up. Oh, damn it. Come on. Stop playing. Where'd you go? Okay. There we go. All right, we got to back out. And the the plume not only does it circle the 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 ground, but it also goes vertical like a half a dome, like a rainbow, east and west. It's funny. It's cool as shit. I always watch my fuel and numbers. I don't like watching it on the left side there. I got to have it up on the right side. All right. Three, two, one. Boom. At least no Kerbals died yet. See, there's that rainbow. <laughs> it, it's awesome. I've never had that happen before. It's always been horizontal instead of vertical. That's how you know she's a big bitch. She's putting out like 84,000 kilonewtons. Big bitch. So I think I'm going to do the same. Well, I don't know. I need to start at a low trajectory. That's what I need to do. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, that Irish cream in my coffee. It's all right, but it's still nasty. It's like drinking brandy. Or not brandy, uh, Bailey's. Irish cream whiskey. Oof. Ooh, man, that'll wake you up. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, big baby. You can do it. <laughs> so I'll probably deploy my um, heat shield probably in the upper part of the second atmosphere, which is what, like 15, 20,000 meters. But even then, that's going to have some 
some effect on my aerodynamic influence. See, I, I was dreaming this shit last night that I was going to make, like, nice, sharp nose cone and have another or a fairing and then have another fairing. That, it was awesome, dude. It, it played out really nice in a dream. It's hell trying to play with it now. <laughs> it doesn't... It's, it's not what it seems like when it was a dream and then now you're actually putting the uh, time and effort into playing that simulation from a dream to reality. Let's start our gravity assist at 645 degrees. Oh, we'll just go 40. Fuck it. <clears throat> kind of the steeper the better. So that way we can gain horizontal speed, flight speed over altitude vertical speed we don't want too much vertical speed we want flight speed but lower the atmosphere the denser the air pressure is and creates more friction at a lower speed and we don't want that we want a higher speed with most or actually less aerodynamic friction less aerodynamic friction the faster we can go it's it's like balancing on a like a you know those weight beams you get left and right well this is like a quad beam <laughs> and it, one thing affects the three other beams it's crazy it's like an x and y axis beam <laughs> All right, now we want to flatten out really quickly. I wasn't paying attention closing the door. It's kind of chilly up here in northern Indiana. Actually, I want to go negative five. Yeah. There we go keep our orbital alignment our trajectory low oh yeah I'm in Knox I'll be leaving Tuesday to go uh, I'm gonna be going back to my friend's farm in Utica Kentucky I won't be able to, to play much except at night because you know be doing with a bunch of farming and livestock and stuff get out from the city life Township life, or whatever you want to call it, stupid shit. My most high risk for this COVID shit's gonna be in Indianapolis. Luckily, I don't have to go to Louisville, and I'm taking fucking Greyhound too, which is only like an 18-hour ride. I've been on longer rides, like from Maryland to Texas. Oh man, it was supposed to be a three-day ride. It turned out being a five-day ride. I was like, oh my god, and that's when I took a train from Texas to Indiana and in, uh, Northern Indiana. Uh, got into South Bend on Amtrak. Amtrak is nice. It's it's really really nice. I love the Amtrak. I love their services. Uh, their ride is is really smooth. They got that observation deck. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Here's where we deploy our heat shield. We're going to kill some of our aerodynamic here. Let's see. Did she deploy? Oh, yeah, frame rate's going to kill me. And it does look like she deployed. Awesome. All right. Yep. Woo, look at that flaming inferno. I could just imagine what 6,300 meters per second was like. 
<laughs> you got like <laughs> like a football field 100 yards long fucking flaming out oh I see like 12 of my crafts long of a flame I bet that's like yeah alright so we need to stay at 10 degree negative yeah, we're not gaining altitude. Oh, we're losing now. Oh, shit. All right, we need to pull up a bit. At least we're still gaining speed, keeping uh, keeping it at twenty thousand meters is gonna be tough. Yeah, well, when you get higher speeds, then it's like a real sensitive balancing weight of staying in the atmosphere and shooting out. And that's one of the biggest, uh, biggest deals to try to, to maintain is altitude and speed. So that way you don't sling yourself out in the uh, helio orbit. Wow, that's crazy. Come on, flame on. Go. Get out of there. Come on. Oh, don't do this to me. Ah, oh, shite. Yeah, I need to go back and put those uh those little puffers engines on. That's what I need to do. Little puffers. They're not going too fast. They're not separating. They're not going outward away from my ship. That one launch was pretty cool where they stayed in configuration. And I just kind of. But that was because I was higher up in atmosphere that they maintain configuration. This is really going to be troubling. I think I'm trying way too hard with too many boosters. I mean, someone was always saying, more boosters, more boosters. I was thinking about adding another eight boosters on this bitch. <laughs> I could, and then have all, like, all of them going at the same time. I'm going to fix this right here first. Yeah. All right. Um... My top speed was like 3300. That was like the first try. So, where's this? Is this it? Where's those little puffer things? Is it these? Modern propellant puff? Is it these that I put on the boosters? I think so. These little uh, burner engines have a huge deflection. So it's, these little puffers aren't it. Cause I wanna, I need to get those boosters away from my craft. These ones, Sabotrons. Uh, canister filled with what appears to be solid rocket fuel, although not too much step forward in terms of raw power. Uh, I wish these descriptions were a little more elaborate.
yeah, my my part count's gonna go down, or my my frame rate is gonna go down, 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 down. So I need to put them where the decoupler is. Man, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. I wonder if I should add eight more boosters. <laughs> Just for the shit and giggles aspect of it. Uh, it wouldn't be Kerbal if it wasn't for that. Alright. Oh, it, well, if I don't succeed in this, in this try alone, I am. Just for shits and gigs, just to see what happens. I'll copy and paste one of these boosters and add eight more. <laughs> I don't even think it's gonna fit on the fucking launch pad. Oh man. <clears throat> Alright, I wonder what our total part count is at the moment and we are at 277 hmm not bad all right seems like a lost part somewhere but whatever all right let's launch this beast again take four take five <laughs> Uh, I will have to watch that video later. I'm live streaming right now. I'm not trying to piddle around on my phone, although I am. Messages, messages, messages. Hmm. Guess a meteor crashed into Earth and destroyed over a hundred houses. That sucks. And good luck to Anthony Broham. I guess today he is going to try to conquer Moho once and for all. All right. Well, wish you the best and may the odds ever be in your favor, bud. <laughs> Uh, all right, come on, the music stopped, let's go. <clears throat> Not till the fat lady sings or blows up, whichever comes first, right? <laughs> come on, fat lady, get off the ground. All right, thanks, Johnny, and uh, I might still be live when you get back, so <laughs> who knows? <laughs> We'll see. 
Come on. So many parts to load up and build on the launch pad. All right. I'm going to take a large step back, way back here. You don't think this is far enough? No, 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 not at all. All right, that's far enough. Because who knows what this firecracker is going to do. Every launch could be different. All right, uh, everything checks out. All right, three, two, one, go. No, okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a dud. Like, okay, X, 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 X. <laughs> That's still awesome, that plume right there. The rainbow plume. That's awesome. Ah, oh, come on, big baby. Get up there. A big bitch just to stay in the atmosphere it's huge even Donald Trump would be jealous of it that's so huge oh that's Bill Clinton Donald Trump would be so jealous alright 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 it's time to get the fastest speed in the atmosphere, guys. Come on, Monica Lewinsky. Get off that and give me that blunt. It's time to fly, guys. You seen the paper, boy? Yeah. He's flying on that rocket ship there, Herbert. Well, you tell him when he comes back, I got the dollar seventy-five for that newspaper. Oh, you're such a pervert, Herbert. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Hmm. What's F S F? Solid friction. Let's see, we got abolith for the heat shield, oxidizer for the oxidizer, liquid fuel for LF, EC for electric charge. What is SF? Solid fuel? Yeah, for probably for the fucking little um little separatron motors. Okay, I'll go audit. <clears throat> right, let's try to get more speed and go down to seven degrees. Seventy degrees. Okay, there you go, boy. Oh, we need to back out. The frame rate's still fucking laggy. This is so crazy. Imagine adding eight more boosters. They always add more boosters. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to take a really steep uh, approach on this this time around. So, um, get it to 10,000. We'll go down to maybe between 30 and 45 degrees so we can get that horizontal speed because like I said last mat, last mission we don't want too much vertical speed uh, we, we're not trying to achieve 70,000 meters uh, we're trying to get speed so we need that horizontal speed versus vertical speed <clears throat> All right, 
right, so let's go ahead and butcher the uh, nav ball here. We'll go 35. Meet somewhere in the middle. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, dum. Better don't bum, bum, bum. I don't own the rights to that. No, sir, I don't. All right, guys, come on. What is that? Max Zor Kerman and Magley Kerman. I wonder if they're going to have sexual relations in that capsule. At 3,000 meters per second. I don't think so, Bill Clinton. <laughs> it's like, have you tried having sex in a Gravitron? I'm pretty sure that's what it's like. See, she's got to be flaming now. Uh, let's go ahead and make her horizontal. Go ahead and deploy that heat shield. See what she's doing. She's probably already on fire. No, surprisingly not. Huh. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah. She's on fire. So at these speeds, that's why I put those puffers on the Subtron, so that way, once I decouple those eight boosters, because if I don't maintain thrust, then my ship's going to tumble. So if I can maintain thrust, I can keep going straight, and it won't be like the last two missions. Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed. I should did was um, asparagus staged them, apply foreign symmetry, and then apply another foreign symmetry, hook one set of four to the other tanks with the gas line, and then gas line to center core. Instead of coffee, this thing's really got me on edge. It's a long trail. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Come on. 
Come on. All right, so now we're starting to heat up. And we're going down and, all right, well, we don't want to go too far down. So we're going to go up to five degrees. if we'll hit 2,000 meters per second before we have to decouple <laughs> flame on and we will awesome 2,000 meters per second maintaining 23 upper 23,000 meters in the atmosphere let's see if this works Awesome sauce. Oh, nice. It's awesome. Flower power. <laughs> that was great. Awesome. Let's get on to, to the prograde node. Maintain that. Right, let's see what's overheating. Is it the fairing? Yeah. I'll keep this here in case we have to deploy the heat shield. Gosh darn it, come on. <coughs> and we're losing speed. Okay, that's probably because we're going into the atmosphere, so we need to go up. Not too far up. Come on. Alright, so I think I know what I did wrong. So we need to get up at least 30,000 meters when we deploy those boosters. Come on. I'm going to get this, you know. So, with that heat shield being deployed at that level of atmosphere is actually killing our speed and thrust. It's not so much of a weight factor. It's deflection of aero, aerodynamics and thrust. So, instead of maintaining it between 20 to 30,000 meters, we need to go up to like 30 to 40,000 meters. I think that would be most ideal. I bet a lot of these people are doing what I was doing, just testing each layer of the atmosphere, trying to get that perfect area of the atmosphere and like I said I think instead of trying to work it between 20 to 30,000 meters I think I need to up it to 30 to 40,000 meters especially with that uh that frontal inflatable heat shield deployed <clears throat> come on load up take six take seven I think Oh man, it's really crazy. It's really getting on my nerves. Like for real, for reals. Do, do, 
do 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 Those Cybertrons did really good that last flight. That's what I was wanting. I wonder if I could do that with eight more or at least four more boosters. So that'd be a total of 12 boosters. Oh man. Or stage all this out. Like have eight boosters staged. And then I'll have another eight boosters. So it'd be like first stage eight boosters, second stage eight boosters, third stage center core. Fourth stage, secondary, and then fifth stage would be my trick in the sleeve. And the sleeve being the fairings, the trick being the little single engine vector craft that's inside the four fairings. Yes, I have four fairings on this speed <laughs> from small, or huh, extra small, small, medium, and large. Yeah, four fairings. It's a big bitch. All right, well, while that's going, I'm going to pack me some tobacco. You know what sucks about my trip and this whole COVID thing? I may have to get quarantined for two weeks or 14 days at my destination. So it's going to be two weeks of no play. That's going to suck, guys. See, y'all ain't going to be able to see any of my videos. Normally, I'm posting like a video or two every week. And because some people want to be stupid, they want to travel around the world... Well, if they knew or not that they were infected and wanted to globally affect, infect everybody. That's pretty shitty of a person for somebody to do that. That really is. It's really fucking shitty. Just, so, just shows how much humanity likes itself. Alright, let's get some... Small inclination, some horizontal and vertical speed. Remember, we're trying to get up to like 30 to 40,000. That, that sweet zone, hopefully. Because 20 to 30,000 meters wasn't doing it. We were actually losing speed at full throttle. Sad. That's really, really, really sad. <laughs> so, we're going to try to go up another 10,000 meters and see if that does anything different. And if it doesn't, then we'll go from 40 to 50,000 meters. And yeah, try every 10,000 meters, huh? We know 0 to 10,000 ain't going to work for us at all. At all. We wouldn't even pass 2,700 meters per second. So the higher, the better. And, um, yeah, we got to... We're not shooting for the stars, per se. We're shooting for the ozone. <laughs> uh, so... All right, so we're coming up on 10,000. Let's go down to uh, a 45 degree on our nav ball. Right there. So that way we can get some horizontal speed upon our vertical speed. And we're trying to get 
at the moment until we get up to like 40,000 meters, we want to try to get an equal pace of vertical and horizontal speed. <clears throat> if we can. I mean, I know we can. It's just finding the right trajectory to, the, to getting that equality, equal amount of vertical and horizontal speed with the amount of fuel that we have in our booster stage which is it's like trying to find a needle in a I don't know haystack in your backyard and a needle's not in your haystack it's somewhere in the backyard <laughs> so this is like take seven I forgot I even had an airplane <clears throat> that I was testing on the runway down there. It's for the um, the private sector um, propeller plane. The propeller challenge for the private sector. Like this is the fastest rocket or jet in the atmosphere challenge for the private sector. <clears throat> And way to go for the private sector. I mean, 6,300 meters per second. That's that's really hard to attain, uh, obtain. You know, it's a it's a challenge. And luckily, it's the private sector that's getting it. <laughs> uh, so now we're coming up on 20,000 meters. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna keep going at this inclination, or I might just. Let's see, 25. I might go down to 30. Yeah, let's go down to 30 degrees. So we can get more horizontal speed. Surprisingly, this thing is, is really, really smooth and controllable for the amount of weight of being almost 4,000 tons and almost 300 parts you know it's it's really a nice nice craft to fly um, it's really heavy and um, in terms of controlling it's real heavy but with enough ass behind it it don't matter it's all right coming up on 30,000 meters Alright, let's go down to 15. So now we're going to try to stay between 30 and 40,000 meters if we can. No, you don't go up. Let's just zero it out. So we're still going to climb, hopefully we're not going to climb too fast. Let's go to negative five. So that way we're keeping our periapsis. Down a bit. Uh, now she wants to try to wobble. You know, we're just going to try to stay and maintain 40,000 to 50,000. Uh, I'm not liking that 30,000 deal.
is still climbing I think a little too fast but I need to get rid of this booster stage Some sauce. Flower power. <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't blow up yet, but whatever. Alright. Bye bye, KSC. Alright, we really need to point this thing down a bit. So we can keep that periapsis down. Let's see where it's at. Or apoapsis, I mean. So 123, damn. So it's coming down, but not fast enough. Coming up on 60,000 meters. Come on. We got to drop that apoapsis down quick before 70,000 meters. <clears throat> so it's at 86,000, 85, 84, 83, 82. We're at 60,000 versus 80,000, 79, 78, 77, 76, 75, 74, 73, 72, 71, 70, 69. All right. Now we can start pulling her up. Who would have thought that you could fly towards a planet and not exactly go towards the planet? <laughs>
Somewhere right around here. by Apoapsis 20 million it's already at the moon or Mimis alright get this staged Don't do it, don't do it, damn it. Shite. Dang. done with this challenge I'm thinking about just sticking four extra boosters on it and saying the hell with it no uh, I think I'm done with this challenge um, I guess it was Johnny who has the speed the velocity speed of 6300 plus meters a second congratulations I'm done with this challenge um, I'm moving on to the fastest propeller plane so it's going to be a good race with that. It's going to be nice and traditional like it was back in the day with Howard Hughes and him producing the uh, streamlined airplanes and, and stuff like that. So uh, catch y'all next time on the next video. Hopefully I can get more videos before Tuesday. Tomorrow is packing day. So it's going to be a real slim chance of uh, getting another video out. So damn, the flight happened all within five and a half minutes. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get another video out, uh, tomorrow or tonight. Um, so stay tuned, please like, and subscribe and thank you for watching.